Hitting for three, I think, is if, like Mark says, you touch both. I'm thinking he's throwing. Can he shake, whip something down? Yeah, but then the six flies. Yeah, but what? this one stays, the shooter stays, and this one stays. Well, I don't it's think either guard the draw, or if we're worried that this is there for three, then I think we gotta take that away. I think throw it up by your feet. Yeah. Well, then he's just playing That's the shot they draw. gotta worry about. Right, well, You heard them talk about it pulling. I don't like that's going risky. In. Yeah, I don't like going in there. This I don't like going. I Starting to drop for two or the well, if you shot think, for three. If you think this is for three, I think we got to take it away. Exactly. Well, like that, like we can do, we can kill two birds with the one stone here if, if we're like right here. Yeah. That's the shot. Sure. Okay. I'm fine yeah, with then that. He, yeah. Then he's yeah. trying that. And yeah. That's a one in. It's for, one. yeah. So right yeah. there, top, top edge of the 12. It's going to be good speed out here. The 12, Girl, right to Keep that Girl, brush, right going. there, Girl, right there. Girl, How's that? Gosh. This is still for just two, I think. Two, maybe. Yeah. Take it off. No, that's not enough. No. I need at least outside edge. So, Mickey, this is the situation that uh, Brad Gushu was looking at after Jacques Cotier threw his first, and Brad's got one last rock to play. Uh, it's the 10th end. He's up by two. I guess his unacceptable outcome, let's start there, because that's probably the biggest thing in his mind, is giving up three to lose the game. So that's probably number one on his hit list. He, he probably yeah, of course. He wouldn't want to give up two and go to the extra end, especially with a no-tick rule, which makes it slightly dicier for him. So he'd prefer not to do that, but he could live with that. And he doesn't mind giving up one. Just saying he's just really keeping his unacceptable outcome in, in his in his head. He doesn't want to give up two, you're right. But he can't give up three because it's the last end. So he just will not give up three and he will not bring that into the, into the equation. They look at this thing to see if there's something over here. There really isn't potentially there is a shot to potentially hit this one thin redirect your shooter onto here on that angle these these guys both go away the five goes away and probably the two goes away and maybe you count this one this one and your shooter so you can see that you could dream up a way that could possibly happen Okay, so the options that people were looking at in the puzzle group were option number one, <clears throat> hitting Y3 in some fashion and killing killing Y5, making it tougher to score three. What do you think about that idea? Well, I guess I don't love it um, because any kind of a hit on on this, uh, on the Y3, the Y3 stays. It's not going anywhere because you can only hit half of it. Um, so that means you never it never goes out. So, and if you hit with any kind of weight, uh, your R2 goes out the side. So now this one's sitting here, this one's sitting here. So if you do that and roll out through this hole, you got some sort of a, maybe a double for his three. So you just can't do it. Okay, the other big option that people were calling for was a freeze down onto Y5. And I think, you know, if you make that shot, it's probably pretty good. It takes the three out of play, and it takes the takes the two out of play. And you're going to win the game. Yeah, 
Yeah, if, if you can stop a red right here, uh, it's game over. But if the over curls by two inches, about the exact same perfect weight, and it goes here, bonk, tick. There's your three ball we we're talking about. Yeah. So you're you're only an inch or two away from making a perfect corner freeze on the button, and now you've left him a crotch double for the game. So Gushu is just not taking that risk. Like he's a great curler. He makes 90% of his shots. One in 10 of those are going to crash on that or hang out wide or something and bring that three ball into play. And so he's not willing to take a 10% risk when there's a third option, which is to throw the guard, which is what he played. So, um, you know, Brad just, he, he wins so much because he refuses to give you a shot where you can lose. He trusts his team and himself to win it. In the next end, he won't give you it. He won't bring the three into 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 the equation. Okay, so uh, my takeaways in this situation are, you know, it's it's one thing to dream of the perfect shot, the freeze down to to five, the Y five, but it's the what ifs. Like, what if you are a little tight and you roll off and give them a, an easy deuce or an easy double for for three? So it's it's, you know, let's not, let's dream of, of perfect, <laughs> but maybe let's not accept or expect it. Yeah, no, that that, idea? It's, 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 yeah, it's not a game of perfect. And and even someone who, like Gushu who makes all his shots, is still, he knows that things can happen late in the game when it gets a little flat in the middle, it's a little iffier. So yeah, let's not bring it into place. And so that's my second takeaway is, is keep your objectives in mind. Like the 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 only really objective here for him is no threes. You know the 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 perfect stuff, the ideal, the acceptable. He just he's just focused on that unacceptable. So he's just got that firmly in his mind the whole end. So keep keep your objectives yep. in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Mickey. Sure.